What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I've got a, an Amazon Fire HD Tablet 8. Uh, this is the 16 gig model, and I just picked it up. And one of the things that you might want to do on your Amazon Fire tablet, whether it's the 7 or the 10, is add the Google Play Store. So there are lots of apps in the Google Play Store that aren't available in the Amazon Store. And so one of the first things I do on my Fire tablets is uh, hook it up with the Google Play Store. And I want to show you how to do that. In my description, I'm going to put the four links to the four APKs that you need to install. You want to install them in order. And what I like doing is following the link, uh, downloading it and running it right away and then going back to the next link. So what you'll probably have to do is follow the links as I'm doing them, uh, download them, load them, run them, and then come back to this video and then click the next link. So the first one is this Google account manager APK. So I'm just going to click on that. This is what you're going to see when you do this. And uh, you're going to scroll down here and you're going to see this button download APK, which you're going to tap. Don't worry if it mentions, hey, there's a newer version. What you can do is actually use the one that uh, is linked to here. You're going to get this little pop up. It's going to ask to run it. I'm going to say OK. It's going to download that file, download complete. I'm going to hit open here and it's going to take you into uh, um, your installation window. Now, in this case, because I just set up my tablet, it's saying for security reasons, it's blocking the installation. So I'm going to click on settings here, which is going to take me to my Amazon Fire settings. And what I uh, need to do here is apps from unknown sources. I need to go ahead and turn that on. And that's going to allow me to uh, install these apps. And so now I'm going to go back to my home button. So if uh, you haven't done that, if you did that already and you need to um, re-download the file, you certainly can do that. They're usually pretty small. And now we go ahead and hit open. You can hit next, which kind of scrolls you through all this information. You just want to scroll all the way through until you get to this install button. Hit install. It takes a couple minutes here. I will say once you get all these APKs installed, now we're going to hit done. And now we're back. Uh, it does take a little while for the Google Play Store to show up. So, you know, uh, for me and one of my devices, it took like 10 minutes for it to kind of run through everything. I don't know if that was my internet connection. Some people have also said that they needed to reboot their device after a period of time. So just kind of keep that in mind. It doesn't necessarily show up right away like a, like a regular installation. Now you want to follow the second link to the Google Services Framework APK. Pull that up. Again, scroll down till you find the green button. Download APK and hit that. And then it's going to start downloading or prompt you to download. Oh, there it is. I'm going to hit OK. Downloading file. Open. Next to get through all the text. And install. App installed. Done. And now we're going to go to the third link. Google Play Services APK. Now this is where um, I'm going to put a link to this. Uh, use this version instead if you have the... Uh, 2017 Fire HD 8 which I have so I'm gonna I'll put a link directly to that so you won't have to worry about that because this is for version 8 Again, scroll down green button download the APK you'll kind of get the hang of this process it's pretty much the same thing downloading file Mm-hmm. Open. Again, next, next, next to get all the way through. And then install. This one seems to be taking the longest. And done. And then and then go to the last APK, the Google Play Store. And again, scroll down. Looks like it's a blue button here. So I'm going to tap that. And download. And open. And again, next, 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 install. And that's the last one. And so as we're uh, kind of waiting for it to finish up here, what I will show you is that on your main screen, you should see a new icon and sometimes it's just a placeholder hit done um, until it's fully loaded Let's see here there we go so there we go play store icon right there and you can open it up 
Now this is where I said sometimes it takes a while to load. Um, I would give it some time. You know, the Amazon Fire tablets I've found are, you know, a little bit unpredictable. I'm not exactly sure. Um, you know, I'm not an Android expert, so I'm not exactly sure how they work. But um, I have seen that this takes a while, so sometimes I let it run, uh, especially if you have enough battery, then just kind of be patient. But uh, they always seem to kind of load for me. Now, as I mentioned, some people have said, uh, they've let it run, nothing ever happened, so they kind of closed it out, rebooted their uh, tablet, and then it worked fine. So uh, that should get you into the Google Play Store on your Amazon Fire Tablet. Uh, this one was for the Amazon Fire Tablet 8 specifically, but if you have a 7 or a 10, uh, you can also use these links. They, they should work, but uh, um, check out my other videos for kind of the specific links to the ones for the other sizes. Peter Ron Panda out.